الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله علم knowledge it should transform us it should have a transformative effect upon us as believers in Allah Azza wa Jal <clears throat> and the Salaf some of the Salaf used to say Al-Amal Thamrat Al-Ilm that righteous actions or deeds are the fruits of knowledge they are the fruits of knowledge so knowledge should be as if you're planting a tree and it should produce some some fruit and some some beauty something that smells good something that tastes good and that which tastes good and smells good of course would be the similitude of righteous actions practicing that which is good good conduct towards one another things that please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your actions Al Hasan Al Basri <clears throat> Rahmatullah Ali Rahmatin Wasiya He said When a man sought knowledge it would not be long before it could be seen in his humbleness his sight upon his tongue and his hands in his prayer in his speech and in his disinterest in worldly allurements and a man would acquire a portion of knowledge and put it into practice and it will be better for him than the world in all that it contains if he owned it he would give it in exchange for the hereafter and this is in Ibn al-Mubarak his book Az-Zuhd wa Raqa Ahabat fillah this narration an Hasan al-Basri rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wasi'a it shows how different we are to the salaf of this ummah and that the salaf they realize the importance of knowledge and the fruit of knowledge being your practice in your actions that it should be seen in your humbleness it should be seen in the way you interact with others it should be in how you speak whereas often we don't practice what we preach we do the major sins but yet we claim to be tulab al ilm we want titles of being sheikh being talib al ilm so and so being famous and we do things refute people in order to gain fame and involve ourselves in controversy in order to gain fame or that we gain knowledge in order to just refute others to attack other people's honor or plain and simple that the knowledge we don't see it in our actions so some of the people they seek knowledge but it has no reformation it doesn't reform their character at all in their conduct and it shows how how different we are to our the salaf of this ummah to the classical scholars and how they how they use the knowledge of the book and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they practice the madhhab of the salaf as salih ridwan allah alayhim and they allowed that to be their the light of guidance in their lives so that they could walk upon the sunnah and they could practice those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with and it caused them to have taqwa Allah azza wa jal so that they would not which we as we know as the salaf used to say taqwa taqwa <clears throat> that this is 
adhering to the commandments of Allah and avoiding his prohibitions. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to be better slaves of him. And we ask Allah wa ta'ala to help us to have ikhlas with the bad Allah sunnah. And we ask our Lord wa ta'ala to accept our good deeds and forgive our evil deeds. And to cover up our faults and shortcomings. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our knowledge to be a source of our salvation, not a source of our destruction. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.